What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So this was per request. I was already planning on doing this, but the request kind of, I guess, sped up the process, if anything else. But I wanted to cover 10 of my favorite affordable Middle Eastern fragrances that are just perfectly geared for the summer with weather heating up all over the place. It's very hot in the south at this point. Friends and family have already let me know what the temperatures are like. And I know a lot of you are experiencing that summer heat. So I figured I'd bring you my 10 personal favorites. This isn't the only 10 I have. This isn't the only 10 I would recommend, but this is the main 10. So stay tuned. Starting with the $15 wonder from Latafa, this is Ijazi Intense Silver. Probably not going to be able to see the name. There we go if I hold it like that. Because it's A, highly reflective, and B, a fingerprint magnet. But scent profile is really good here. It's got this lavender cardamom combo. A lot of people kind of equate this one to La Nuit de Lome and Blue Electrique. I get a little bit of that, but that's much more warm and spicy overall. Whereas this is very aquatic. It does have some marine notes to it. And I get plenty of that. It has a little bit of this sage cardamom type of feel to it. I don't even remember if sage is in there, but a little bubble gummy in some ways. Not super spicy, but a little fresh and spicy. And like I said, this watery aquatic tone, this is quite nice. This is an absolute steal for $15. Not a monster performer, but I've been experiencing the six to eight hour range, which is well above average. That's a great performer, especially, and I can't stop pointing this out, the $15 price point that at the recording of this, you can get it for. I'll have links in the description for all of these. This is worth a blind buy dice roll just to check it out. Yes, what you'll see on the internet, it does kind of relate to Blue Electric and Lana Dome a little bit, though not on that level of powder, not on that level of warmth and spice. Tone it back, make an aquatic take on that scent profile, I guess would be the easiest way to put it, and you're going to wind up with this. Latafa. The Jazzy Intense Silver. This next one's one of my personal favorites. It is a clone of Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Beau Eau de Toilette. This is Cahila Platinum, Paris Corner. They did a great job with this one. Love the bottle too, that horse head. That is a hefty, heavy cap. This is a weapon, but that fragrance, it is pretty much spot on. They made a carbon copy here. Bergamot, coconut, tonka bean. That simple. It's fresh, it's powdery, it's sweet. And it's tropical. Big fan of this one. I actually did a full review on this one not that long ago. I'm an advocate for it. I do have Le Beau Eau de Toilette and the Le Parfum, which I love them both. But I do feel like I have two bottles of the Eau de Toilette at this point. Uh, it's easier to reach for this one and preserve the slightly more expensive one. Because, don't get me wrong, Le Beau Eau de Toilette, not the most expensive fragrance out there. But for about half the cost, you can get the same fragrance that performs about the same. Another one, six to eight hour range for me from the original and from the clone. This is sweet, fresh, powdery, and tropical. It is one of the best DNAs to come out for the summertime for people that like sweet fragrances that still work in the heat. It's one of the best to come out possibly ever. I'm a big fan of this scent profile and this scent DNA, and uh, they knocked it out the park in my opinion. Definitely worth checking out. This is Kahila Platinum. Longtime viewers of the channel know, it's no secret, big fan of Mancera Cedrapoise. This is Paris Corner's take on it, and it's fresher overall. It's more zesty with fresher citrus in the top. It's less fruity sweet with more of a clean musky dry down than a woody leathery feel of the original. This is in the Amir range. This is Cedrat Essence. This is so fresh, so clean, easy going. Another one kind of falls in that six, seven hour range in longevity. I've had some people tell me they get worse than that. Had some people tell me they get better. I get in kind of that six to seven hour range. And it's like 80, 85% Cedrapoise. The reason I don't deem it even closer than that is because, like I said, the, the citrus here is more fresh and watery overall, a little zesty even, versus the sweetness that you're going to get, that fruity pebble smell that Cedrapoise is known for. It's, uh, it's definitely fresher. And like I said, that clean musk kind of dominates the dry down. Um, so it's not a carbon copy. It's not one-to-one -one of Cidrat Boise, but it's pretty close. And you can get this one in that 30-ish dollar range, uh, $30, $40 range, and it's pretty hard to beat. Yes, you can get Cidrat Boise in the $65 to $75 range, but if you want to save even more money, um, 
you might want to look into this one. Honestly, it's a great replacement, especially if maybe the sweetness of that one isn't for you. This is a fresher take overall. Again, that's Paris Corners Emir Sidrat Essence. One of the best blue fragrances to come out in some time. Afnan pretty much knocked it out the park here. You can get this one in the mid $30 price point. Uh, it's well worth it. Another one, six to eight hour range. They, it's kind of like going rate for longevity with these fragrances for me for the most part it's Afnan's 9am dive so similarities to Blue de Chanel I've heard similarities to uh, LV's afternoon swim without the musk you will get a little bit of YSLY in the heart uh, there's a little bit of Bulgari's Tigar here with that ambery grapefruit feel uh, but you do get the grapefruit incense ginger combo from Blue de Chanel you see where I'm going it's kind of like a Franken fragrance in many ways but it's good stuff big fan of this one big fan of this one because the quality is decent it's not super synthetic it's not a monster performer and it's not the most original fragrance out there like I said it kind of takes essences bits and pieces and inspiration from several different popular blue DNAs it kind of makes its own thing at the same time. There's, like I said, it'll remind you of certain things, but it's not directly close, super close anyways, to one specific scent DNA. And I kind of dig that about it. And for the money, it's really freaking hard to beat. This is great stuff, especially for the summertime. Off 9, 9 a.m. dive. So this one you may not expect. I don't know if it's going to be in the thumbnail or not. I haven't made the thumbnail yet. But I will say this is absolutely worth checking out. If you want to try something different from Masasi, this is Satur... So this has a spicy aquatic floral tone. There's white florals here. There's a watery note. There's inherent spice. It is different. Solid performer. Again, above average. Six plus hour range and longevity. There it is. It does have, admittedly, at the top, a little bit of a wet wipes feel in the opening. I know that sounds strange, but it's not really all that off-putting. <laughs> Believe it or not, it works. Did a full review on this one. I'm quite the fan. I actually dig this one. I like how different it is because it I don't have anything that smells like this. It's quite unique. It is more of a fresh blue overall. Like I said, the white florals here don't really give it too much of a feminine tone. It's really grounded by the spicy nuances that kind of surround this fragrance. There's a little bit of a musky woody feel as it dries. And like I said, it is watery overall. It does give this oceanic feel without having any salt water marine type of qualities. It's not an ocean breeze type of aquatic feel. Just watery flowers with spices is kind of how you can look at it uh, this is different like I said very different but I can appreciate that about this fragrance and one that you may have never thought to give a chance it's definitely worth checking out in my opinion if you want something kind of out the norm for a blue it's really good for the summertime it has some pretty good performance and it's affordable that's always key check out Rasasi's Satur Ra a personal favorite here in the TLTG Reviews household. My wife's a big fan of this DNA. Uh, I've tried a lot of more affordable clones of Silver Mountain Water at this point, And I always end up circling back to Armoff's Club de Nuit Siage. It's hard to not go this route. It, it just, it works. Look, I have Supremacy in Heaven. It's solid. Have uh, Al Rehab Silver. It's cheap smelling, but... It's solid, and I could just keep listing them off, but while this does have a strong chemically synthetic smell at the top, out in the air, this one's the magic. As far as the affordable Middle Eastern clones are concerned, now, as far as touching the magic of the original from Creed, no, not going to do that. But in the mid $30 price point, the performance is great, the attractiveness and just charisma that this scent profile offers is there. It will pull people in. It's not going to necessarily pull every person in. But I'll tell you what, my wife is a sucker for this DNA. It's one of her favorites. I have Zerzhov's Mephisto, which is, again, another one kind of similar to the DNA. She, all of the ones that I have of this similar style and scent profile, she's a fan of. But this is the one that she always comments on over and over and over when I wear it. Because it's just that good. It's metallic. It's inky. It's citrus. It's watery. The T-note here provides a little bit of an herbal green feel. But overall, clean, musky fragrance. Like I said, Super attractive. You gotta like metallic though. Has that cold steel metallic feel to it, and it's a great performer. Again, that's Armoff's Club de Nuit Siage. Another sub twenty dollar, in my opinion, worthy blind buy dice roll from Latafa. It's Kate Alfasan. Ripe pineapple, spicy saffron, dense woods. It's that simplistic. Again, six plus hours easy. Beautiful tropical fragrance. This is so good. 
ripe pineapple with saffron spice. It is beautiful. Little hit of BR540 because of the saffron. Uh, I've heard people say a mix of BR540 and Aventus. I get zero Aventus from this just because it has pineapple. Doesn't mean it smells like Aventus. Uh, I get this, like I said, ripe pineapple mixed with a touch of BR540 and some dense woods. I keep going back to that because it's really that simple, people. It's a great pickup, in my opinion. There's a ton of people around the community that have been enjoying this one. It, it's had a bit of hype over the last year and a half to two years, I would say. And it's a, it's a viable pickup. It's great for the summertime. It's super cheap. It's a decent performer. It doesn't smell like everything else, though it does offer a few subtle nuances to remind you of some more popular things for sure. It's worth picking up, especially for this summer. If you haven't gotten your nose yet on this one, this is a great affordable Middle Eastern option. This is Latafa's Kate Alpha Sun. A less bright, longer lasting Versace Mano Fresh. It's that simple. It's Armoff's Aura Fresh. So you still get the Carambola, that star fruit, that sour citrus smell, bright, watery, a little zesty in the top, clean and musky with a touch of fresh spice. It's, it's great. Big fan. You can get this one for like 30 bucks in the link down below from Fragrance Buy. Did a full review on this one beginning of this year, end of last year. I don't remember exactly, but I'm a fan. Again, you're not going to have the brightness of Versace Mano Fresh because that's an eau de toilette. This is an eau de parfum. It's a higher oil concentration, so some of the top note, that opening, is dialed back a bit, so it's not. It's it wears a little heavier. But in turn, the trade-off is I get about eight hours of longevity out of this, where I get about five to six hours out of the Eau de Toilette. Not a huge difference, but for the money, you can get it for a few dollars less than 100 ml of Versace Mano Fresh, and it's better performing. Now, if you want the loud, as loud as possible, you might want to stick with the original that is brighter in the top. But if you want the trade-off of the longer-lasting, kind of more dense smell, because it's they pretty much replicated the scent profile here pretty well. They just made it not as loud, a little longer lasting. It's basically Mano Fresh, if Mano Fresh was an eau de parfum. Check it out this summer, because I'm a big fan of this one. I'm off or fresh. So I could have went one of two ways with this, because we need something in the realm of Bulgari's Tigar, which I have a carded sample of, and I absolutely love. I'm going to get a bottle of Bulgari's Tigar eventually. Very, very expensive stuff. But... I debated, do I go Afnan Tarathi Blue? Afnan's been featured a few times in here. Even though this is a subsidiary of Afnan, I think I had to go with Rubroca Theorem, I believe is how you say it. So this is a little bit more airy and watery overall. It's not exactly the same as what I get from Tigar or as what I get from Tarathi Blue. Now look, Tarathi Blue could have fit here perfectly. Great pickup in the mid $30 price point. Uh, $30, $35 range. It's a great pickup. It's beautiful, zesty grapefruit from the spices with a nice warm, ambery, woody dry down. You get that same stuff here, but it's more airy and a little bit more watery overall, and I kind of dig that. Oh, there it is. Not just kind of dig it. I really dig it, and this one's a little bit cheaper. This is some good stuff. I heard a lot of hype behind this when I heard my buddy Joy Amin had been praising it. I was lucky enough to have my buddy Steve over at Kingdom Fragrance shoot a bottle over my way, and I see the hype. I understand the hype. I get it. I get it. If you want a slightly more, I guess, watery aquatic feel to the Tigar DNA, you might want to go with this one over Tarathi Blue. And look, again, Tarathi Blue, Totally fine. You have that one. Enjoy that one this summer. That's a beautiful, one of the best openings ever. Beautiful fragrance. Here you get that same stuff. All of that scent profile, same performance. It's the same. They used a lot of the same oils. Like I said, this is a subsidiary of Afnon. This is an Afnon owned brand is my understanding. Make it a little bit more ozonic and aquatic and you get Rubroca Theorem. Okay, last but not least, we may have saved the king of the warm weather cheap Middle Eastern fragrances. Some are going to totally agree with that. It's Rasasi Hawass. Hawass is, it's him. This is him. This is him. And I don't mean Zadig and Voltaire. This is him. I mean, this is the guy. This is the, this is the man for this particular video. I kind of saved the best for last. Reason being, it's the strongest fragrance in this video. This is a beast. This is loud. If it's weak on your skin, your nose is going blind. Oh, but my girl said she can't smell it. I don't care. Your nose is going blind. It's not the fragrance. I'm telling you. I'm telling you it's not the fragrance. <sighs> Invictus. Sweet bubble gum with cinnamon spice. 
even a little smoky. It has a little bit of this oriental feel on my skin that adds kind of this Middle Eastern touch. It's basically Middle Eastern Invictus is how you can look at it. I relate it more to the original Invictus than Invictus Aqua. Uh, everybody interprets things differently. That is what I get from it. This is a February 2022 batch, if I remember correctly. I have friends with a variety of batches. The juice, the color hue to the juice is different for just about all of us. Everybody doesn't need more than three or four sprays. I don't wear more than four sprays. I started off with five. It was a bit much. I had to dial it back to four. This is a monster. This is super attractive. This is a compliment getter. It's youthful. It's easygoing. It's spray with caution. Basically, because this stuff can be overwhelming. You heavy sprayers, you're going to choke yourself out. You're not going to smell it in five minutes. You're going to overwhelm yourself so much. And you're going to fill every room you walk into. So this is one that I would encourage you to do less is more. Your bottle will go a little bit further that way. It's in the $45 to $55 to $5 price range at the recording of this video. It's still the king of summer, in my opinion, when it comes to cheap Middle Eastern fragrances. Again, that's an opinion. Some of you may, may argue with it. Hey, what's your king of summer for the cheap Middle Eastern fragrances? Definitely comment down below. Let me know what you guys think because I would encourage you, if you haven't gotten around to getting this one yet, if you only get one from this video, let it be Rasasi Hawass. Well, that's the 10 that I have for you today. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe because I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. What of these 10 have you tried? What are you familiar with? What are you interested in trying? Like I said, I'll try to have links to everything down below. Uh, try to make it convenient for you guys in the event you want to check something out. And uh, yeah, thank you to those that requested it. Like I said, I was already planning on doing it. It was already on my mind. But you guys kind of sped the process up. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these 10 and you give them a spray now, pretty confident you'll thank me later. Just some good ones. Have a good one, guys. Mm -hmm.